Agent 47 and Diana Burnwood are the world's top assassins working for the ICA. Unknowingly, they have been hired by a shadow client to target a number of operatives of Providence, a secret organization working in the highest echelons of power. Providence's controller, the Constant, approaches Diana and makes her a deal. Eliminate the shadow client and learn about 47's past. But when 47 discovers that the shadow client is Lucas Gray, his lost childhood friend, he and Diana switch sides to fulfill an old pact. Destroy Providence. Together, they manage to capture the Constant, forcing him to reveal the identities of the three Providence partners. Eliminate them, and the war would be over. However, the Constant has an ace up his sleeve. Look closer. In the shadows. Behind the everyday world. Beyond the headlines and the seats of power. A hidden hand. A kind of company known as Providence. To it, we were just assets to use and throw away, to do the unthinkable, the unforgivable, and it never gave us a second thought until now. After decades in the shadows, we are fighting back. Me and 47. Much has been lost, but we are closer than ever. We trapped the Constant, Providence's chief controller, and finally learned the names of its three partners. In their downfall, we lay the past to rest. And, just maybe, look towards the future. 37. It's time. Partners are down there. You know, I never planned this far ahead. You never do. I see someone got his memory back. Wait, is that a beacon? <laughs> what the hell? Base. Alexa Carlisle's helicopter just took off. Confirm target locations, over. Diana, what's the status? Right. We have a situation. Carlisle has left the building. And I think I know why. The Constant has escaped. He persuaded one of the sailors into setting him free. And since then, he's been seizing control of Providence assets and resources. I can only assume Carlisle is rushing to contain the damage. If she slips away again... We'll keep track of her. Make sure she doesn't. Meanwhile, the plan stays the same. Your destination is the Scepter, the world's tallest building where the partners are laying low, courtesy of their host, Sheikh Omar Al-Ghazali. Marcus Stuyvesant is fifth generation old money. His family made its fortune in real estate and banking and were at one point the chief landowners in New York. Carl Ingram is a powerful Washington kingmaker whose family grew rich selling gunpowder during the American Civil War and later established a globe-spanning empire in oil, coal, and steel. Both families long since retreated from public view, but their quiet dominance endures to this day. Now, the partners likely suspect that we're coming, so Mr. Gray will infiltrate building controls and disable all electronic doors and elevators. Stuyvesant and Ingram are about to find they have nowhere left to run. Right. 
This is our moment, 47. Providence ruined our lives with the flick of a pen. Today, we return the favor. Happy hunting. Welcome to Dubai, 47. Today is the inauguration of the scepter, and the ceremony is well underway. You will find Marcus Stuyvesant near the building's signature art installation. While a paranoid Carl Ingram has ensconced himself in his penthouse suite, security on highest alert. Mr. Gray is already in position and ready to assist. Good luck, 47. Forty-seven. Come in. Forty-seven, do you copy? I'm here. Are you in position? I'm heading towards the point of entry. Good. Get back to me when you're there. Use your camera and scan the lock, will you? I think I can override the window's controls from here. I'm in position. 47, the inauguration is taking place close by. Once you've infiltrated it, get your bearings. I'm sure there must be floor plans somewhere. Understood. We need absolute focus on this one. If Ingram and Stuyvesant are alerted to our presence, we may lose them for good. We are so close, 47. Don't worry. They're not going anywhere. Welcome to the Baj Al Ghazali. Listen, I want to talk to the partners directly, make them understand why all of this is happening. And that terminal gives me an idea. There's a server room near the Sheikh's personal reception. If you can gain access to it, we might be able to recover useful intel from it. We'll have to work together to hack the system, but it's our best shot. It looks like the staff area could provide you with a viable route to the server room. There's a keypad lock on the doors to the staff area. One moment. All right, try this. Four, seven, zero, six. There's quite a bit of security here. One moment. You ready for some more fresh air, 47? Shift. There's so much going on here. I've had four staff update meetings already. And 
Now that crazy manager called us into another meeting, so now we've got to memorize new lists of guest names. <laughs> I think I can open that window remotely. Scan the lock with your camera and I'll have a try. Come on, what the? Ah. Jesus. Oh, what a freaking waste of time. Sheikh Al-Ghazali is reaching out to his worldwide network of lawyers and financial contacts, attempting to restore the lost power base of the Providence Partners. If Ingram and Stuyvesant were asked to a meeting, thinking they'll be told of new developments, I suspect they'd jump at the chance. There's a lounge area at the top of the building. It can be sealed off for private conversations. If we lure the targets there, they'll be trapped.
of a room should be behind one of the doors in this hallway. function. We can use this to summon the partners to a fake meeting, 47. All right, I'm no hacker like Olivia, but I think you need to pull one of the racks here to gain access to the terminal. Hello? Yes. Say what?
but... I thought about what you said. Yeah, I changed my mind. It was an insane idea to start with. Exploding golf ball. I don't want blood on my hand. Take it home when my shift is. Must have done something. Can you see anything different in the room?
silent alarm has been tripped. Security is on its way. Hide, 47. Coming down here. System online. Yes, sorry about that, 47. Let's try again, shall we? to do is access the terminal and use the calendar option to summon the Providence partners to a meeting. Good work. The meeting has been booked. The partners should be moving up here shortly. Huh. Looks like the lounge can be sealed off for private conversations. Handy. Building cameras are now disabled. Elevator doors are now open. Excellent. I see the partners moving. You should join their meeting. Time to end this, 47. Keep calm. Now we'll just wait for the partners to be alone. Then you can activate the room's lockdown feature. Busy day for it. Sure, the partners are alone now. I'll activate the panel controlling the room's security features. When you're ready, 
Use it to start the show. I trust his people will have multiple scenarios. What's this? Carl? Did you do that? I certainly did not. I have no idea what's going on. Gentlemen, what's the meaning of this? You. You are the one responsible for all this. Gray, what do you want? Something that has been a long time due. Revenge. Revenge? How banal. You killed Cobb, Navikov, Caruso, the Washington twins, everyone at Haven. You broke into our bank. And you outed Providence to the world. Whatever perceived slight we've done to you is insignificant to the amount of damage you've caused us. You've caused the world. You're a murderous terrorist. Nothing more. What did we ever do to you anyway? You specifically? Nothing. Providence? Everything. Providence made me. And at the flick of a pen, Providence broke me. I'm just returning the favor. Providence has ruined the lives of countless people, expecting and facing no consequence for its actions. You take for yourselves you and those who support you, you and you burn no, everyone sir. and everything else to the ground no. from the comfort of the shadows. Where's the security panel? No more. That's that then. Finally, Stuyvesant and Ingram are gone. Providence will soon be no more than a bad memory. 47. Thank you. I'll meet you at the rendezvous on the edge of town. <laughs> 